Within the beautiful landscape of Australia are a series of hills which jet out of the ground, showcasing beautiful layers of rock which contrast with the green vegetation which blankets the region. Known as the Glasshouse Mountains, these monoliths of rock are volcanic in origin and originated during a period approximately 26 million years ago when the climate was colder and more temperate rainforests covered much of the continent. Ancient Australia had split from Antarctica only 10 million years prior, but more importantly, the continental landmass began to pass over three unusually hot regions of the Earth's mantle. Known as hotspots, as the Australian continent passed over them, it resulted in significant volumes of magma to intrude into the crust, occasionally erupting onto the surface and forming a chain of volcanoes. These volcanoes trended in a south-southwestward direction as the mantle hotspots largely did not move, but the overlying crust did as it moved slowly to the north-northeast. One of these hotspots, known as the Cambodian hotspot, first appeared at Fraser Island where it erupted basaltic lava. However, over time, the basaltic magma chambers present began to melt surrounding rock, which mixed with it, causing the molten rock to turn to andesite, then dacite, and finally rhyolite. Occasional rhyolite volcanic eruptions occurred over the next 3 million years until it reached an area just east of Yandina. As the silica-rich plume breached the surface, it erupted in an explosive manner, producing many 10 to 20 kilometer high eruption plumes. Smaller eruptions also occurred, and in addition to ejecting large amounts of ash which coated the surrounding landscape, volumes of silica-rich rhyolite and trachyte magma erupted. Due to their high viscosities, these lavas did not travel very far and instead built up into what are termed a lava dome complex volcano, which were up to 3 kilometers wide and a kilometer in height, much like the modern Lassen Peak volcano in California. However, since the hotspot-derived magmas involved a path of least resistance to the surface, the time that these volcanoes existed was limited. Thus, over a time span of 200,000 years, the volcanoes explosively erupted, grew in size, and then became extinct. Yet, when they were active, a large magma chamber grew underneath the active volcano in addition to nearby intrusions of magma which never reached the surface. After the volcanoes stopped erupting, erosion kicked in. Over the following 27 million years, the overlying layers of more easily eroded ash and sandstone eroded away from the level of the ground by several hundred feet until it reached a section of hardened rhyolite and trachyte rock which is more resistant to erosion. Since these former failed magmatic intrusions and magma chambers had a large vertical component to them, as the ground surrounding them was eroded, near vertical monoliths of ancient intrusive rock was revealed. And this is how the first two of the 16 so-called glass mountain peaks formed, which were Mount Coulomb and Mount Nindari. There were subsequently a decrease in the number of volcanic eruptions for the following 500,000 years until the hotspots started producing volcanism around the town of Birwa. Over the next 1.5 million years, this area saw active volcanism as multiple grey-colored volcanoes existed with large volume magma chambers. These volcanoes also occasionally produced basaltic lava and what were less viscous and more runny lava flows. The hotspot would later continue to the south before abruptly ceasing to cause eruptions on the surface 16 million years ago, as the last feature which formed was the Comboin Shield Volcano. Around the town of Birwa, slightly more than 20 million years of erosion exposed more than a dozen volcanic plugs and failed magmatic intrusions, creating beautiful towering volcanic monoliths. I want to note that not all of these monoliths were centered underneath a volcano at one point as it is quite likely that the majority instead were isolated and failed magmatic intrusions of varying sizes. Today, all of the 16 million to 31 million year old volcanoes this hotspot created are long extinct and will never erupt again, and can be appreciated as towering features in the modern Australian landscape. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Cody Fahi for becoming a new patron on this channel's Patreon page.